Hi, welcome to Abby's Quick Reviews. This is the March wrap up. I'm afraid this is really late. Yeah, life kind of took over. Um, yeah, I wrote the blog post and then I never made the video. So here it is. First up for the month, I read Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardogo. This is the first in the Grisha Girls trilogy, the first in the world. I read Language of Thorns. I think it's like November. I read that and after reading it I was like I need to read the series and for some reason I've just kept putting it off since then but yeah March was my month and I really enjoyed this intro into the world and the world building is really awesome the debut is not as well written as it could be uh, as some of her later books are but it's an amazing intro to the universe and to the characters. Then I read Siege and Storm, which is the second one in the Grishaverse trilogy, in the Grisha trilogy. Yeah, so pretty soon after the events of Shadow and Bone, it jumps into Siege and Storm. You might even be straight away. No, maybe like a month later. I really cannot remember the time frame. It's a good middle book. I think it might fall into second book syndrome or middle book syndrome. I really enjoyed it. It's definitely a good filler book. I'm really trying to not diss this too much because I really enjoyed it. But that's the thing. Yeah, I really don't know how to describe this. I would say it's probably the least favourite of mine of the three in the trilogy. Oh my gosh. Stormhund, Nikolai, love 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 and I need King of Scars like right now like that's why I love this book was Stormhund and Nicolai yeah oh my gosh then I finished up the trilogy so I read Ruin and Rising and yeah did not see that coming or maybe I did because there were bits a bit further forward that you can like mm, I didn't expect them to happen but yeah, really good conclusion. I think this is set like maybe a week or two after Siege and Storm has finished. Maybe a bit longer. But yeah, I really cannot make up my mind on Darkling. And some people are like, oh, I hate him. Oh my gosh. Like, as in, I hate him because he's a villain. And other people are like, I love him. And I'm like, I love him, but I also hate him. I don't know. I think he's a villain I would join. I would be like those Grishas who joined him. But at the same time, knowing what he does and how he manipulates people and stuff, I really don't know. But yeah, I um, tabbed this book quite a lot. It's definitely good. Then I read Daughter of the Syro Queen by Trisha Levensella. It's the second in the duology of Daughter of the Pirate King. And it did not disappoint. I loved it so much. Um, I think some people have been disappointed by it. But I suppose if you're going, kind of going, well, it's going to be a bit like the first one, but a different kind of adventure. And it's following on straight away. Yeah, come on. Elosa and Raiden together, the sass. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, I really liked getting to meet Ava Lee. And yeah, really, really good. Highly recommend this duology, especially if you like pirates. Female pirates, come on, what isn't to like? Then I finished up the month. I did have quite a big reading slump. I think before while I was reading Ruin and Rising, before I read it, and then Daughter of the Shining Queen pulled me out of that. And then Six of Crows by Lee Bordogo. So this is the first in the Six of Crows duology. Holy moly, this is so good. So the Grishaverse sets up the world, builds the world. It's really, really good. This is amazing. Like, oh my gosh. Like, it's double the size of the other books. And, oh my gosh, I love the drags. I love the drags. I love the drags. Please write more of the drags. Like, please. Even if you don't want to read the Grisha trilogy, which I would recommend you do first anyway, but if you don't mind not having the world building and stuff, read this duology. It is so good. I love all the characters, even the bad guys. 
like the way they're written is just so good and I loved the little crossovers between two so so good and it's set about I would say like 10 years after the Grisha trilogy and then I finished up the month with Crooked Kingdom I say I finished the month with this this did roll over into April but I'm counting it as March because oh well <laughs> Six of Crows was amazing this was like awesome pretty much the same level but I think this one might actually be better I really don't know they're so different but so good and so much the same as well oh my gosh like it's so hard to describe these it's set a week after Six of Crows it's so good I loved getting to know Ketadam even more um getting to know the dregs even more I some people don't like flashbacks and it is quite heavy this duology in the flashbacks but it's about learning about their life and I don't know if I would really count it as flashbacks it's about them like just thinking about the past or whatever but I really liked it really really liked it and I really want more as I've already said so good so yeah I only read six books in March so far this month I know I'm in April um, now as well as posting it I've only read two books so far was finding it quite difficult reading the book I am currently reading but I am hoping that that picks up more um, it's really starting to pick up so hopefully it won't be too bad also there is a readathon this weekend as in the weekend of the 21st 22nd I think it starts on the 20th over on TBR and beyond if you want to come check us out um, it's spring clean your TBR readathon I think that's what it's called but yeah basically it's reading anything that was published before 2018 you owned before 2018 just to try and get those TBRs down a bit and I'm off this weekend so I know it's Friday to Sunday readathon but I think I might do a working Friday so I'll probably read from when I get home I'll read Saturday and Sunday and then I will see about whether I can read Monday as well. Obviously not count that as readathon, but personal readathon. Yeah. Um I am now just talking at you. So yeah. See you soon and enjoy the book you're reading. <laughs>